Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about filtering data in PowerShell. So the way data gets filtered in PowerShell is using the where object uh, commandlet. So there are two ways of using where object. The first one is to put the comparator directly as an argument, as a parameter, sorry. And the other one is to give it a script block. So we'll go over both ways. They each have their advantages and their drawbacks. So let's get started. So here I have data. So this is just the first 10 rows of that data. There are a thousand rows to it, but I wanted to show you the data, what the fields are and um, what the values are. So let's say we want to filter data to find male and female. So if we want to just select female or just select male, we can do that with where objects. So let's do this. So data where object, and we here we have to say the property that we're filtering on because we can't just filter on the whole row. I mean, you could, but not. you have to provide value for each, um, each property of the row. And here the property we're looking at is gender, and we want it to be equal to female. Okay, so if we do that, and let's just do format table so we can print it in the console terminal. Let's run this. So as you can see, everyone here is female. Let's clear this. And now if we wanted to do male, we could do equals male, or we could also do not equal female because it's a binary data set. So there you go, not equal female. But that's great and all, but what if we wanted to do something a little bit more complicated than that? So let's say we want to see if somebody belongs to at etsy.com. Okay, so the way we want it, we would do it is here it's email and the uh, parameter we would use is like. And the way you use like is you can provide it with a pattern to match. And here we're just gonna say this at etsy.com. And let's see, let me clear this, and let's see what happens. There you go. You will only get three people who work at Etsy. And that's great. So now let's say we wanna do another, take it a level further, and we wanna see who works at Etsy and is on the 198 network, right? So here what you would do is you would then string another where object, right? And you would be both correct and wrong. So IP address and we say like again and that's 198 dot star right and if we run this we should get only one row there we go so this is as expected but that's a very cumbersome way of doing it so we would have to string it over and over again if we had more than two parameters so let's take a look at a way we could do this and let me clear that. Actually, no, let me keep this. And let's see the script block method, which is much easier. So here we would do a script block. You could also do script, what is it? Filter script. You don't have to, it's implied if you provided a script block. 
So usually you see it like this. And here we're going to put the same thing. And since we're filtering on one then the other, this is an and, right? So and, and like this. And what we have to do here is this is working much the same way as a for each. And it's using either dollar sign underscore, underscore dot, and you can use the quotes or you don't have to use the quotes if your property name is in uh, one word, but we'll use that. And you can also use PSI rem. They should both work. So there you go, you get exactly the same result. I personally prefer underscore, but to each their own. So now let's say we know that people are at sea would be on the 198 network or people on the 198 network would be at Etsy, even though they may not have, even though Etsy people may not have 198 and people who have 198 may not have an Etsy address. This is crazy, but it could work. So we could replace this with an or, and now let's see what we get. Actually, let's, let's do a format table. And clear this, and let's take a look. So there you go. You can see all these people. And now if we wanted, we can also say, well, they're either on this or that, right? They're either one of those and they're females, right? We could do that. Let's do this and there you go. Now you get only the females here. And this is random data. I don't think anybody has those email addresses, just so we're clear, but so there you go. You could do more complicated filtering like this. And since this is more or less a for loop, you can also say, I don't know, you can say ID equals 10 and let's say, or ID equals 10, sorry, ID. So you can also put values from the outside. So there we go, we get ID equal 10 and ID plus plus, we could do that. Now we no longer get it because of course we're 10 ahead. So, but this works. This, I can show you this. ID. So there you have it, see, 1010. So there you have it. This is how you filter in PowerShell using where object, there are definitely other ways of filtering data without using where object. Um, but this is the most common and easiest method to filter basic data easily. So that's it for this video.